And we are back with another episode of The Buzz. I'm your host, Sherwin, with Gospel Music Buzz, y'all. We're here with sibling group, y'all, hailing all the way from Detroit, you know, basically city of Motown, so you know they can yeah. sing. So I don't even, I don't even <laughs> got to say too much with that, y'all. We're here with Shelby Five, friends and Amber is with us today. What's up, guys? How are you doing? How you man, doing? We're, we're doing a great. We're so excited to be with Gospel Music Buzz with Sherwin, man. Looking forward to a great conversation. I'm ready to jump in. Awesome, awesome. So, you know, I'm going to jump right into it. So, you know, you guys are outside right now. So everyone is going to want to know what's what's going on, what you guys are getting into today. Yes. So we are here at AIM, our yes. AIM convention. We're part of the Church of God in Christ. Um, and this week is AIM. So we have some obligations here with AIM and we're here having a great time. Um, what else? Yeah, we're in St. Louis, Missouri. So we've St. been okay. we've been here for the whole week. Excited to be here, uh, spend some time with our Kojic family. Um, and so, yeah, we're here in AIM outside enjoying this great weather. We don't get uh, too much good weather in Michigan. So anytime yeah. we get a chance to get some sun, we're going to take advantage of it. Yeah, you can take advantage of it. So that means then, you know, you got all your suits put aside. You know, you got suits for the entire week, yep. Shine, yep. shiny yep. shoes. Yep. Shiny yeah. shoes. Amber got Amber got her big hats and all of that <laughs> set up and ready to go. My fascinators, <laughs> yes, the whole nine. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna have to you know check out some some, some IG <laughs> stories and check out the yeah. trip because I know uh, I know y'all y'all come hard with the trip so def, 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 definitely <laughs> definitely <laughs> you know so seeing that you know the two of you are, are representing for the for the larger group I did had a few questions to start with but you know maybe i'll have you know i'll have the two you just you know start start to handle that so i guess i would say you know some some fun ones you know in in the group itself who would you say would be more of the mj of the group and who's more of janet in the group so who who would you say in a kind a kind to of jackson five i'll let ever answer that question i'll let you i don't know who what i don't know the role janet plays so I let you 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 say who Janet is. I say who MJ is. I think the MJ varies in our group. One thing about Shelby Five, we are like five superheroes that come together and make the Avengers. <laughs> but um, oh, I like I'll say, I like I like that. Yeah, so I can I can, I can even say, go with that too if you want. Uh, yeah, yeah, we can we can keep it at that. But I think everybody has their moments where they shine and where they are like the Michael Jackson. For sure. Got, so got I think it, we're, we're one big super group. <laughs> not not a problem. So then the next question then would be, who got into the most fights growing up? Ooh. <laughs> who got the most fights? Who got the most fights? I have to say, it's a toss-up. So that's another thing. So Drea and Courtney had their moments where they would be going back and forth. Mm -hmm. Trenton and Courtney. No, outside of family who got in those fights like oh like with yeah yeah like growing up in school yeah mm -hmm. oh growing up in school trenton <laughs> this, this one right here <laughs> see that's what, that's why he didn't want to answer the question trenton this is he don't play he never <laughs> did play in elementary school middle school all through high school he would be the one like if you couldn't fight for yourself you'll call trenton and he, he'll pick up he'll pick up where you I left mean, off See, but but that's the thing though. With with you know with with five siblings, I don't think anyone really want to mess with y'all, right? Because no. that's, 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 we, that's we we are a whole lot of problems. That's a that's a whole lot. That's a whole team. That's a whole basketball squad right there. So, it yeah, is. There. That's a good. That's a good starting five. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> no, no. So then I guess the last one I'm gonna leave you with, since you are at AIM, you know, who is the intercessor of the group? Oh man. Well, you know. Sherwin, what's crazy, man, is 
Amber is she is the baby girl, but she is the mama of the group. <laughs> Oh. Amber is always pulling us in, saying, "Hey, y'all, before we do this, let's pray." Um, and, and we we always, I mean, as you know, sir, we got a, a super strong foundation, man, yeah. in faith and in our background with our parents, and so uh, we've seen them um, praying. We've seen them, you know, keeping God first in everything that they do, no matter what stage they stand on. Um, and so that's been the example and the role model in front of us. So. Um, that always plays in the back of our head whenever we stand on the stage, whether it's a um, church or if it's some type of symposium or, or whatever it is, man, we're always sure to keep God first in it. Um, but Amber, man, she she has truly taken on that mantle of making sure that we keep God first in everything that we do. That's that's key. That's it. That's definitely important. So awesome. So yeah. I'm going to jump in. I like I like to at least shake it up with a few, you know. A few unorthodox questions I'm gonna throw yeah. out there, but I think I think that we can we can go ahead and get into it. So now you mentioned before, just you know, growing up in you know growing up in Detroit, Detroit having such a rich legacy of music, a rich history, you know, just just overall with everything that it stood for. At which point would you say you guys decided, you know, hey, we're gonna to come together as a group, or was that always something that your parents had in mind, like, hey, you know? this is kind of what we see for the family. This is what we want to do. Or is that collectively any, everyone joined in as it go along? Like what was the start of this idea? Yeah. Ma Mama Shelby was the visionary for Shelby five. Okay. Um, before, before we could even really put our heads in to want to become a group, she pulled mm -hmm. us all in. She sat on the piano and taught us harmony. Um, wow. And it's been it's been history ever since we've created moments ever since uh, us sitting in that living room together with her sitting on the piano, teaching us a Mary Mary song. Yeah. Um, yeah. And so, like you stated, man, the the heritage and the richness that Detroit holds, man, we're so grateful for it. I mean, you could drive up the street, especially back then, you could drive up the street and hear the Clark sisters just singing. Um, you know, you could pull up on the wine and you could pull up on Lisa Page Brooks. You could pull up on Vanessa Bell Armstrong. Um, and so that that type of heritage, to be able to have uh, that in your backyard, man, is is something that many people can't, you know, can't say that they experienced. But grateful, man, that Shelby Five, we were able to lean on that type of heritage, lean on that type of um, richness to be able to glean from and to be able to, you know, implement it into what we have. So, um being, you know, in Detroit, man, and having parents like we did, our father, he funded the vision. Uh, we owe him who knows how much money to this day <laughs> for him, you know, paying for studio time, paying yeah. for lessons, man, and, and everything. So uh, without them, man, we're nothing. Wow. That's, you see, and that's beautiful to even to even ac acknowledge that. But then, you know, just kind of just lean into the vision because, you know, as a parent myself, you know, I may have plans for my for my kids, but that doesn't mean, you know, they want to listen to all of my plans. They're like, nah, this is what I want to do. This is what I'm going to go with. But you guys yeah. collectively came together for that bigger purpose. So, you know, salute to y'all for just all seeing that vision and latching on to it. And another thing you mentioned just now, just being able to, you know, see firsthand and witness the Winans and, you know, the Clark yeah. sisters and, you know, all of those names you were mentioning just now. How has that I guess seeing that path, seeing that connectiveness, you know, with the Winans, with the Clarks, it's just seeing that family group, seeing how they've grown together and just looking at what the possibility held in store, you know, for you guys being as young as you are right now, sky's the limit, you know, with this new album that you have out here, S5, and just everything else overall with your ministry. Like, what is that feeling like just looking at those that have gone before? Yeah, I think um, looking back at other gospel legends, and especially in Detroit, I think it really just encourages us to stay the course and really not to compromise in our message. Um, it's plenty of times like I've been on social media and I've seen the Clark sisters impact even beyond the church and how they, you know, their songs like um, you brought the sunshine. It blesses people that aren't even in the four walls, people that aren't going to church every Sunday 
are yeah. getting the message of Jesus Christ. And um, the Clark sisters have never compromised in their message. They've always always have spoken um, with such conviction and sang with such conviction. So to see that example as artists that have such of a love for God and that want to be um, you know, in right standing with him, even in our music and want to push the message of Jesus Christ um, to see that that is possible. You know, it's possible to find success in God, that you don't have to go outside of um, and go out into the world to find success. But if you just keep yourself humble and if you keep singing for him and you keep your heart pure towards yeah. him, there's nothing that he'll withhold from you. And I think we're testaments of that already. And I know that we have so much further to go if we just stay, you know, in this place of, you know, purity towards God. So those kind of artists, the gospel, the uh, Clark sisters and um, the Winans, they're such inspirations to us because they haven't compromised their message, but they've still been able to reach the masses. See, and, and I love the way how you, you put it, because to even hear young people speak like that, right? Because I feel, again, kind of going back, I have teenagers. You know, and kind of going back and just seeing that fervor and seeing that passion. And then, you know, yeah. as we sort of pivot in a second and we're going to get into, you know, into the music itself, you know, with the new album S5, even just the the style, I would say, you know, of of the music itself, you know, it's not, yes, it's it's Christian music, but then it also have that, that urban feel. It also yeah. have, you know, so many different, variations within there as you're listening to it you know I'll, I'll i'll shout out a few of my favorites you know i'm gonna ask some questions around those but you know yeah. ov overall you know so just as a young person you know young adult sort of growing and having that responsibility of hey it this this vision is bigger than just me you know what is that yeah. on a on a on a day to day? Like, what are some of the things that you're implementing in your day to day life just to continue to steady that course? Man, it takes. I mean, it takes commitment, man, and it takes dedication. Um, I would say this to carry a vision um, is not easy. It's 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 heavy, and and you have to be graced for it. Um, and you know, man, we've. As a group, Shelby Five, man, we've experienced some great moments together, some highs, but we've also experienced some very trying times as well, some lows. Um, and it comes from the weight of our vision. Um, you know, we all can dream ourselves singing, you know, singing the gospel in stadiums and singing the gospel in festivals. Uh, but we had to go through a time and we're going through a time where, you know, maybe we might have to go sing out of 50 Seated, seated type of church, a little storefront church. Yeah. Yeah. And it takes it takes a vision to be able to still see the big picture, even though the picture is kind of small right now. Oh. Um, and that's where we're at, man. We're taking it one day at a time. Um, will we cross the mark every time? No. Will we dot the I every time? No. But we have a vision and we have an understanding as a collective group uh, of the big picture. And that's what we're pressing towards, man. And I would say we're all yeah. like the day to day of it is just being faithful to what God has given us in this moment. Um, we've been singing together ever since I was like three years old before I could even wow. really say a whole sentence. I was singing in the group. Um, so to just see, you know, for anybody that's an artist or anybody that has a dream or anybody that feels like they're called to something that's bigger than them, it really just takes being faithful um, so what you feel that you've been called to. And when you know that you're called to something, no matter what happens around you or like what detours you may experience is what knows, what doors may be slammed in your face, what doors may be open, no matter what happens, when you're called to something, it just makes it easier to go through. It makes it easier for the journey. And so um, our music career has been a journey. Our ministry has been a journey, but I can look back over um, where we've come and where we're going and just be grateful for the process. That's, that's, that's good, man. I, and I, and I love what you, what you mentioned to even what Trent was talking about just now, but you know, the highs and lows. And I think that yeah. that's oftentimes, you know, it's easy to spotlight those highs, right? Everyone's yeah. going to share them on social media. They're going to mm -hmm. share them on YouTube when you're on the big stages, when you're all of that, but no one really, 
sees the lows. And a lot of times I'm talking to artists that's now getting into this. And when they're in their season where they're trying to push through, they're like, well, you know, everyone else is out there winning. But I think sometimes just, you know, having folks like yourself touch on some of those moments and say, hey, you know, we've navigated, we can be navigating or have navigated some of those. And that doesn't mean, you know, we're going to do anything in any lesser right we're still going to show up every day we're still going to be our authentic self and we're still going to keep moving forward with this vision so you know thanks for even touching and sharing that and i can i can pivot a little bit we can jump into the album on you know yeah. you you guys have released a, you know several singles before over the years but now accumulating sitting down focusing like right now are you guys in all in the same city or you're in different cities now yep we're all in the same well Currently, like right now, as we speak, we're all in St. Louis, um, but most of us are in Detroit, Michigan. Still, we have one sister that recently got married and has okay. a beautiful baby. She's in North Carolina. Um, so we've been still being connected. We still meet up to rehearse. We still have, you know, all the, the connection things so where we can make sure that we're all on the same page. So and so even even with with that, right, with with family life, with everything else, you guys all together and you created this. Beautiful, beautiful yes. body of work. S five. Yeah. It's out. It's everywhere. Y'all can go download, go stream, and listen. Go get it. Go run it up. But just, just talk about what it really, you know, meant. Just recording this body of work coming together, putting it together. You know, a lot of different variations. You know, some of the songs on that we can get into. You know, I have a few questions around some of them. But just talk about. It. You know the hard work that I put in, and now that it's out there, released in May, it's out there now. Like, do you feel a sigh of relief? Do you feel like you can breathe now for a little bit? Like, just talk about the process. <laughs> yeah, man, the process was an absolute movie. Um, so that actually that that album was a night that we did in Detroit, a live uh night that we did in Detroit, and we ended up recording it, man, and uh we put our blood, sweat, and tears into it. We we rehearsed day in and day out, um, and a beautiful body of work came from out of that. Uh, that whole album, man, it, it it's from our heart. It's something that we live. Um, one thing about Shelby Five is we all can write. So we collaborated, wrote the project, man, and we want to create music that people can live with, not just yeah. listen to one time and say, oh, man, that's good. And you never get back to it. But we want you to be able to play Use Me in a very low moment where you don't feel like God sees you at all. We want you to be able to play None Your Business when That's literally chaos is just going yes, crazy yes, around yes, you. Yes, I'm going to make and it. You're trying, and, you're trying, and you're trying to add it up like, man, this is not making sense. Hey, give it to Jesus. Don't worry, don't worry about it. You know what I'm saying? Like, we want to create life music, something that you can listen to that applies to your life and where you are. That's the type of music we want to make. And we definitely feel a sigh of relief. Yeah. But we also are ready to just get right back. We have so much music. And this is yeah. just the beginning, Sherwin, man. Like, we released this. I'm telling you, if you aren't, like, tuned in to what's happening, you're going to look up, blink maybe about three times, and it's going to be a whole nother situation out. <laughs> like, that's, that's how we coming. We yeah. coming hard, man. Fresh off the press. Um, listen, man, I, I love everything you said. And you mentioned none of your business because that's my jam. I'm like, yeah. I'm, 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 I'm putting that, I'm putting that joint on exactly what you said. I'm like, you know, man, yes, yes, yes. I'm going to make it up. Like, you know yeah. what, man, I'm going I'm to say that again. I'm going to run that back again. Come on. And even, and even as you dare, and even with, with, with holy fire, you know, open up the heavens, you know, let the fire fall down. That's going to take you in that direction. And then you kind of switch it up now, you know. Somehow, some way, you know, he'll make a way. And then you yeah. ride back with, you know, we'll be ready, you know, get yes. right or get left. I'm like, okay. Yes, I feel <laughs> yes man. Come on, sir. <laughs> Listen, man, it's such, such like a diverse, just such a really good, really solid body of work. And I'm not even just saying it just to gas y'all, man, but just listening, okay. listening to it, man, like there's something there. For someone, and like you said, man. Aside from the writing, man, like y'all, y'all can sing, man. They, they, they ain't a lot of extra little fluff in there. When you're doing live recording, that that's hard. It ain't, ain't too much <laughs> yeah. here. 
<laughs> it's too much you can do. Like everyone is there and they're seeing what they're getting. There's the energy that's there. So I'm sure just kind of being in that moment from the initial introduction, just kind of coming straight through with it, man. That must have just been a really, really great moment and just kind of just building building on top of that, you know, going into the summer. I know you guys are at AIM right now, but is there any uh, additional like tour stops and stuff you guys have lined up that you're building off of? Like if someone wants to, you know, feel this, want to experience this, want to catch you guys in a different location, like where where can they look out for what you guys may have coming through? Yes, we, we encourage you to be tuned in to our social media we got we got some things coming through the pipeline really fast and quick, man. We are we are planning uh to connect with a few tours that are lined up, man, and we're looking to make it happen. Actually, uh Sharon, we got Don. He just jumped hello, in. Hello, hello, hello. What's up? What's up? <laughs> yes, we, sir. We were telling them about what we got planned as it relates to trying to connect with some tours this yes. summer. Yes, where man. they could come and see us live at. Yes. We got some we got some things happening that super excited. That's getting ready to happen, man. So you got to make sure that you're tuned into our social media. Um, we're gonna make sure that we got everything on there for you all to just come and see it in person. Yeah. Oh, you got yeah. the music, you're living with the music. Now when you come you gotta experience you, it now. You gotta experience it and you gotta sing it. Yeah, us. we want you to sing this with us. We we want to take this album all over the world. Okay. Yeah. Take the gospel of Jesus Christ to every corner of the earth. So we need you to sing this song, sing all these songs with us, yeah. learn them. We got some dance moves or something. I mean, whatever come we got, on, we're going to put on, it on our on, social media. We're going to do it together. So yeah, we're so excited, man. So let's, excited. Let, listen, Don, you know, before you came, you know, they were, you know, both just, you know, just talking so bad about you, man. Man, they were saying uh, all, No, they wasn't, Cheryl. The what were they saying, man? <laughs> What are they that, saying, Cheryl, man? You know, I was feeling something, man. I was inside. I said, man, let me let me see, step outside. That's, see right, that's, doing, why, that's why you pull up, man. Your spirit was stirred. Not, not. Uh, was all, I'm, I'm, was... he, he never he never lets me down. He never leaves me wrong. Uh, <laughs> nah, it's all, it was uh, it was all love. It was all love, man. Listen, yes, man. I, I I I appreciate you guys. And I was just sharing, you know, with with Amber and Trent, just you know the the uniqueness of the project, man. You know, there's something Thank there. You for everyone and just sort of like because I'm always gauging music especially having teenagers in my home trying to figure out you know wow. what can what can I send them what can I because you know there's so much stuff that's out there that's competing for their attention and being able to have something that you can now send and you can now you know just kind of do that so the, the the style of music I guess you know and I'll ask you this Don you know what are some of the I guess influences that you yourself being a part of the group even in your writing style that you have pulled on you know, in this season with this new album, man. You know what? I I'm a I'm a little bit of this, a little bit yeah. of that, and I think when we all come together, it just makes makes Shelby Five who we are. So we grew up in Detroit, Michigan. The musical heritage there uh -huh. so rich. Commission, Winans, Clark Sisters, um, the list goes on yeah. deep. I mean, Doc uh, Dietrich Haddon, Fred Hammond. I mean. Marvin Sapp, everybody is in our like metro area. And so yes. being able to experience music, gospel music so close to home, it had a huge impact on impact on us, man. As kids, we were we were singing in competitions and my mom, she uh she trained us early, man. And like now, it's like just building on that foundation. Yeah. So yeah. our instincts now, you, you know, like you get to the point where you no longer think a whole lot. It's just your instincts. So, like, even with writing, like writing and stuff, mm -hmm. our instincts are just like there. They're just natural yeah. because we started so early. It's just in our blood. It's just in our system. Yeah. Foundation is there. So it's just leaning on the instincts of the Holy Spirit, man, mm -hmm. to to really produce what I believe He's calling us to do in the earth. Makes make makes sense. Yeah. Hey, Sherwin, man, we got Courtney. Hi. Hey, Hi. hey, Courtney. Yeah. What's what's happening? How are you? I'm well. How are you? I'm great. I'm great. You know, I'm just chopping it up with the siblings, kind of get you know, get getting an idea in terms of what's happening. You know, we were just talking with with you know with Don was just sharing you know some of his his inspirations, what he pulled on just as a writer, just you know with everything else that's around. You know, the album that just you know the album that recently dropped S five. You know, what did it mean for you? Just sort of being a part of this body of work, you know, dropping this out there and now being able to take this on the road with you. 
Yeah, um, well, it's, this was special for all of us, especially for me um, with uh, us working on this body of work for over, just trying to, it's been literally a process over about 10 yeah. years of us being in the studio, praying, seeking God, and just really having an album starting from scratch, coming again, and it's like God just really just molded this album into a, like a beautiful piece of art, and it was really it has some hard times it has some good times but i'm so happy that we are finally here um god has truly been good to us through everything we've yeah. grown together we've matured together um we went through hard times together as brothers and sisters um just holding each other up and it's this really about yeah. bodies like what we do and how we love god and how we love each other and how we stuck through together as a family um through everything so i'm really really proud of this yeah. No, and, and and I think as you as as you should be right, and I think the se the sentiments has just been been the same just for you know for everyone that we've spoken to. Again, I know what it is in being in a family. You know, sometimes you know me, and my sister, you know, we may not always get along, but you know, certain things right. can happen. When then you come, then you yeah. come back together as family. But kind of seeing you guys sitting, writing, you know, recording, kind of just just doing all of that together, you know. How does it feel just, again, I, I'm kind of feel like I want to say like I'm repeating myself, but in terms of just, you know, being in that room, you guys are there together creating, just, you know, experiencing this, knowing the legacy that you're kind of doing and inspiring for others that's coming behind. How does it feel? How does it feel? Yeah, Drea's here now, man. Drea's hey, here. what's happening, Drea? <laughs> Everybody's here now, Jeff. Yeah. Oh, what up? What man, up? Let man, look at that. <laughs> look at that. What What do you do it? Hey, so creating an album together as brothers and sisters is so yeah. much fun. Um, you know, it's work for sure, but it mm -hmm. makes it fun. Fun work because we're all siblings. We all have that camaraderie. We we laugh. We cry. I mean, everything. Critique. Right. We critique each other. Like it's literally just such a flow. In such a harmony that that happens when we're all together and it's like you know i i think amber has said it before like it's just like all this all the superpowers like all of our gifts coming together yeah at once it's just amazing and so we just we have so much fun it's work but it's for sure it's fun at the same time so let me let me ask this and each, each, each of you you know can kind of go with it when you're performing live you know what's the i guess i would say what's the you know, one or two songs that the minute that song hit the track list, you know, you're going to go up there and you're just going to just, you know, you're just going to go off on that particular one. I mean, you're going to bring it with all of them, but is there a particular one that every time you're ready, you guys start to give each other that look like, yeah, we're about to do it on this one. Yeah. None of your business is that <laughs> one for me. I oh, I thought like, you were, I thought you were telling me. Everybody. I thought you were telling me it's none of my business. Okay, go ahead, go ahead. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you gotta come to a concert. <laughs> <laughs> but, but yeah, none of yes, my yours it is the Lord. It's none of your business. <laughs> He can tell it. Swaying on your Give it to Jesus. Keep on praying. Say it None of your business. I <laughs> mean, come on, that's man. I can't. That's I mean, that's, 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 the, the, one. that's Thank Thank the one. Thank you, sir. Thank you. So, yeah, that's, that's the, the one for us. It gets the crowd yeah. rocking. Everybody's yeah. clapping and singing but you, along. But you know what, though? I'll be honest, man. We got so many of uh, us, like, so many gems on this project. Yeah. Yeah, it's sure. literally depending on the audience. Because <laughs> yeah. we will go to a, a old missionary Baptist church. See, work it out. And Bracky would work it out. <laughs> you know what I'm yeah. Yeah. So it, it, just, it just depends on, you know, where we are. I think that's the beauty of what God has given us, man. You know, we're, we can become all things all men, you know, so we can save. Love that. So yeah. yeah, yeah. Listen, man, y'all need to go on now. Y'all need to get S5. It's available everywhere. Get it. Download get it. it, stream it, support them, y'all. They're out there. They're doing it, man. They're doing it for the kingdom. They're representing Christ in culture, family. You guys are doing it together, man. Love the music. Love what you guys stand for. 
you know, let the folks know where they should be following you because, you know, Trent, you know, kind of gift before you showed up, Don, Trent gave out yeah. all the secrets, you know, he told us everything, he told us all the drops, you know, it was a whole lot of exclusives, so, you know, but for anyone that didn't catch it, then they need to, you know, follow you guys, where where, where should they follow you? Yeah, did, did Trent just give you his social media handles, man? Ah, yeah, 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 yeah he did, he Trent. did. <laughs> Trent, that's what he did. <laughs> hey, right. No, but you can follow us and find. Well, you can follow us at Shelby Five Fam. You can find all our pages on there. But Shelby Five Fam, on everywhere, Instagram, right? yeah. Facebook, uh, X, TikTok, TikTok, yeah. all of it. It's all Shelby, it. the number five, and then F A M. Yep. Listen, man. Shelby Five Fam, salute. Love you guys, man. Enjoy AIM. Enjoy the week, man. I know you guys got all your trip waiting, man. Y'all are. You know, still crushing it with that too, man. Y'all have a great one, man. Thank you for coming. Uh, me too. Appreciate you, man. See you soon. All right, take.